Yo. There we go. What's Tell up, me. my nigga? Good. Popping, popping, trying to get everything together. You know, make sure my, my daughter and stuff straight. What's good? Oh, yeah, for sure, so, man. I want to start off, man. You know, I appreciate you coming on, man, and, you know, give me your time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same man, thank you. Like I said, dog, thank you for having me. You could have, you could have chose anybody. You know what I'm saying? You chose my ugly ass, so. Look, <laughs> <laughs> man, for everybody who don't, know, you know what I'm saying? This is Jeremy Hill, sixteen yeah. and three, eleven KOs, man. Y'all know his business is, man. You know he fighting out New Orleans, so I guess yeah, I there... start off. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody about yourself who don't who don't who may not know you or whatever. Uh uh fuck. Jeremy Hill, real name. Um you just call me Zero though, you know. Uh that's what it is. Zero Gumbo, man. Zero Gumbo Hill, man. Uh Pro Fighter, sixteen and three fought. ESPN, Showtime, PBC, you know, I fought some, right. you know, I, I do my thing, I do my thing, All man, right. I gotta, I gotta, I earn my respect and my name in this sport, and I'm still going at it, though, so, yeah. So, you know, so what makes you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you know, yeah, you know, all that type of shit. Okay, I got you. So, what made you even think about joining the sport of boxing, you know what I'm saying, like, how they go about it? Um, fuck. Uh, well, so I I I initially started. Um, you know, you, you in New Orleans, boxing not big. It's not big out here, so like you don't really hear yeah. about it. Growing up, I just so happened to come across it. Uh, cause my little cousins, my little cousins used to be boxing. Their next door neighbor was yeah. a boxer. And, um, yeah. soon as I graduated high school, cause I was playing football, you know, I'm, you know, I had NFL dreams and shit like that. So I met him right. right before I went to college and I was like, damn, cause you know, uh, growing up, we used to hear about Tyson and watch Tyson, like, you know, on like little if you, you know, at the time, computers was a little slow and shit back then, but you know, stuff like that. And you'd yeah. be like, you know, we, we, we always did, t you know, tap out or what y'all call slap boxing or something like that. You know, we did a, yeah. we did a lot of boxing. that. Yeah. But it wasn't known that they had like boxing gyms out here. So All then right, when right. I ran, ran in the chest, I was like, shit. And then uh, the rest really was history. I, I didn't do good in college. Not even, I'm like, at all. Like, nah, college just wasn't. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you, Real so, talk. Yeah. College just wasn't for me. And um, when I came back home, when I came back home, I went straight to Chaz. I was like, look, I can't, you know, I ain't for nothing. I ain't for nothing else. I ain't, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't nobody. Like, I understand I had to work. But I knew that that ain't what I wanted to do in my life. I can't be under nobody who talk to you crazy, think your life is their job and all this and all. And it just so happened. Yeah. And, you know, God blessed me to meet people like him who he then turned me on to my new training. And, you know, that's how it is. I, 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 I went to here. As soon as I wrapped my hands up, I was like, yeah, this why I felt like I felt like Kent or somebody yeah. on Street Fighter. So I was like, yeah, this why I need to be. <laughs> Bro, oh, I, I feel got like, I'm, yeah, I'm about to, yeah, uppercut a nigga jaw off, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. okay. okay. So, I mean, you know, since you accomplished so much, you know what I'm saying, like, did you did you picture this in the beginning as far as you got? Like, did you think, I know you believe in yourself and everything, but, you know, when did you kind of knew that you pretty much was, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm straight with this? Ah, uh, you know, You know a lot. So, so that question, you know, I um, it's a, it's it's funny that you asked me that to bonds because I really was thinking of this the other day, like just on my own time. Like I met you today, 
you know, we got introduced into to each other today. And I had this thought in my head, this conversation with myself maybe a week and a half ago. I ain't lying to you, brother. And I'm like, you know, I'm thinking about it. And I'm just thinking about my fans. I was watching over my little, my little clips and, you know, just doing my study and this stuff like that. And I'm like, every time somebody asks, did I think, you know, I would be here? Is a part of it is really like, no. Part of it is like, no. But in actuality, yeah. Like, fuck, I set out for this journey to get here. Really to go yeah. past this. I ain't finished. I'm nowhere yeah. close to being finished. You know what I'm saying? Um, that I, that I, you, 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 I set my goal and my standards high. I put all my eggs in this basket, so I, so it had to pay out for me. Did I actually think it would happen? Sometimes, like this belief comes because this is a hard sport. This is a hard. Oh, yeah. It ain't coming from no background. It ain't like I got a background in this shit. My dad ain't Floyd. Dad ain't all this and all that. You know, so yeah, you gotta <laughs> grind and work hard to get any and any leverage in there and then to see where I'm at now and look back and be like damn like the journey itself was yeah so yeah I did see myself getting there. I actually see myself going further to be honest okay okay yeah that's that self-confidence right there you know what I'm saying you gotta have that to get anywhere let alone man it is what it is I, I can't I rather do I rather do this than to be on somebody clock and having them telling me like, no, you can't take this day off because well, you got oh, it's supposed to be my day off and niggas still calling like, look, we need you. No. And then get mad if I t no, no, nah, no. I got fired from too many jobs already telling them telling my bosses I'll beat their bitch ass up. It's just what <laughs> hey, I love, bro. Half of my job, I was on the same stuff. I ate the left trying to fight somebody. Or I just left because I found somebody else. So, you yeah, know how that real. So, look, man. So, for people who not boxers and everything like that, how does it feel to, you know what I'm saying, fight on TV, first of all, and then fight under those bright lights? Because it's different from a street fight. But you in the ring and you got people watching. A, so, talk about that. It's a, it's a, um, I realize there are stages. Yeah. There are stages of fucking, like, there are stages of light, big lights. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, coming up in the amateurs, I did ringside tournaments. I won ringside tournaments. I, I did nationals and all this and all that. And you, you feel the pressure, the lights. You dig what yeah. I'm saying? Cause when I went to the nationals and I fought against uh Delante Johnson Tiger and, and Charlie Sheehy and them, like like them dudes was already on the USC team. So like when they coming out, they coming out interest is like niggas cut off all the lights and give like, you know, like so it's like damn, then but then when I got yeah. to the pros, you know, and then I fought on um I fought on Regis Pro Cards like a couple of times early on. And it was like, damn, I'm here. But then when I got to like PBC, I was like, oh shit, this is different too. But then when I fought on ESPN and Showbox and all that, that's when I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm already it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch serious. And I fought on Showbox like prime COVID, so there was no fans, just lights and ring, and it's like. Yeah, I'm here. Like you, you, you got us. You got a zone in. You have to, but it's it's still amazing because you got you gotta you gotta you gotta take in the fact that I really made it to this perk. And it's not like it's not like. What's up, Pichu? I mean, I have all of this new game. And... Daddy's doing the interview right now. Oh. You gotta wait. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Yeah. You good. But, uh, you know, it's 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 like damn, like I'm here. You gotta soak in, you gotta take in
unexplainable feeling at that. Yeah, I mean, because I was gonna, I was looking at your resume. You know, when you first started and everything, I'm like, man, this guy went on a 14, if I'm not mistaken, 14 mm -hmm. win streak, so knocking niggas out, unanimous decision, just straight running through guys. How was that like? Fuck. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real, real talk. That shit was sensational. No future. Real talk. Like, oh, uh, it just, you just do it. You just do it. If you, you know, you gotta, uh, stay, stay. It's, it's, it's a high. It's a high. Like you go, yeah. you easily fall into. The big head and it's the arrogant, you know. Yeah. It's really it's easy to fall into it. You gotta kind of stay focused, you know what I'm saying. And when I when I came to that 15 fight, when I actually took that uh when I my first loss came to Steven, I I shouldn't have took that fight. I shouldn't have not because he was uh, a skilled opponent on that, but I had just came off of COVID. I had just shook COVID. And I got the call, and my arrogance, being big-headed and eager, took the fight when I didn't give my body time to. Yeah. And he ain't like he knocked me down to stop me or none of that. I had his ass running the whole fight. It just was a dumb business decision, cause yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't a hundred me. I wasn't a hundred percent me. But I, mm -hmm. I also had COVID. You know what I'm saying? Me, my girl. I don't know what my kids had or whatever, but I know for a fact the first week I wasn't feeling nothing. But once it set in, I could barely breathe. I couldn't do a push up. I, man, I'm trying what? to take a yeah. trying to I thought I, I thought I was I thought I was fucking Mr. Invincible. Like what? I work out <laughs> every day. I eat like I gotta yeah. eat, you know what I'm saying? I ain't catching no fucking COVID. Man, I still ain't taking no vaccine. I'm I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not. One of them, I don't, I don't fuck with none of that. I believe in you know what. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And get I, it. Look, my, my mom used to be mad, but I was like, you know, I ain't getting it. But if I get it and then and I die, then fuck it, it was my time. But other than right. that, yeah, other than that, I'm not putting none of that in my body. I eat, I eat broccoli. I don't like broccoli, but I eat broccoli. <laughs> but I, ain't, you know, what I'm yep. saying trying to heal up yeah. and all that. You giving me this shot. The next thing, no, that shot ain't good enough because now you got to, no, no, I wasn't with none of that. So I thought I was invincible and I caught it. I got COVID the same day the Saints lost to the Buccaneers in the playoffs. So I felt like they put a curse on me because I was bucking out of <laughs> Florida. I had to drive yeah. to Florida. But like, I think that was the, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Though. I ain't lying. COVID, the, the original COVID, like, Really, COVID nineteen. I caught that one, not Decca and all that other shit. I caught that one, man. Yeah. That, woo. As my down. Face, man, I, man, my eye, man. I never felt the back of my eyeballs hurt. Everything was deep. Everything. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm already doing. I'm man, already doing. But to to do that, you you gotta stay. You gotta stay focused. And it's a great feeling. It, it really is. It's a it's a great feeling. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, you know, a lot of people want to know a few of these questions. So when you tell me the feeling of when you, I won't say first knock somebody out, but just that feeling that you stopping them and you punish them, what is that like? I mean, I got to know it feel good, though. I know it feel good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, it, it it's like how can I say this? The only way I could think this like pretty much like when you were in a street fight. Yeah. You drop somebody, you know, you like, know yeah. you nigga you bucking like who like especially for niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when he had done done talked around his mouth and you 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 put like you shut man, let me show you. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hear me? Like you got me like who you think who? You think I'm something like like you think it's a gang? Like, alright. You hear me? Yeah. Like, yeah. 
When it happened, it's like, yeah. And stopping somebody is 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 is, is a good feeling. It's like, man, I done punched dudes so much, like the referee ain't wanna see it no more. Like, damn, yeah. I'm just beating dude up. When you like really like Z something, like poo. I'm still waiting on that. I ain't lying. I'm waiting. To, I'm waiting to sleep some. I done drop like, but they get up and the referee keep letting them fight. But I'm, I'm yeah. gonna hit, I want hit one type of. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sleep some. I still ain't get that. I'm trying to get it. I did it in. The... We're not gonna talk about that. But and professionally, I'm still waiting on it. I got you. I got you. I'm already knowing you got plenty of. It. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. So yo man, so what's so so when the next fight? Like what you got going on next? I know you training and everything. <laughs> man, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't got no set date yet. Uh I wanted I tried to land one in August. I tried to land one in September. Then fall through. So we aimed for this November, which is now. And I'm still just waiting on the word. Still waiting on the word. Not like I could just be like, look, I want to fight and we fight. I, I need it. It's a lot going to it. If the opponent say yeah, the opponent got to agree to it. Then business and you know, and that's that's local shows and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm already. It's not that no more, especially out here. Especially out here, like local shows here. Local shows here is for is. Good for you know, debuters, you know, pro debuters and in other like southern region like who still on a come up into the yeah. once you twenty fights in you should you you don't need to be fighting in local clubs and, and stuff like that especially if you don't yeah. fought to the caliber of my fight because things change levels change unless you're trying to stay small town yeah. then to each his own. But once yeah. you reach a certain level of fighter, you're not trying to come back to that because then you feel like you're showing yourself. And then, nigga, I, I, I'm, I, I can say this now, nigga. I got a price tag. You gotta, you gotta be able to afford me. You oh yeah, yeah. Me. But I definitely come to the show and show love. Like I'm not above that. But if you can't afford me to fight, then no, I'm not fighting. Yeah, ESPN, Showtime. I mean, you know, that's a high caliber within itself. So the fact that yeah. you done been on things and you know handles your business, and I'm fighting, I'm fighting against. I'm putting my health and record against other prospects and contenders. I'm not. This not. This not terror pick fighters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who under? De La Hoya camps and all these and all that. So yeah, you gotta give me my respect. I earned it. I earned it. So yeah, yeah. Now I want to touch on what you just said. You feel me? I know you mentioned your, you know, you putting your life on the line and everything like that. How do you, how do you re like react to all these boxes? You know, taking shots to the back of the head or you know, doing different things like that, and they end up not making it. Is that something that? Be in the back of your head, you know, why you fighting the shit or I mean Me honestly, I mean, do I do I pit do I go into a fight thinking about it? No, you can't. Yeah. You I, I don't. And I don't think no fighter actually does. Because if you did if if we did if we did the fight game wouldn't be nothing to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you got you you just know what come with it. Like you know what come with it. We don't got no head gun. We know there's dirty fighters out here. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, you still in there fighting. You know what I'm saying? You still in there fighting now. Have it come. Sometimes the punches to the back of the head do be purposely done. Sometimes it really don't. Sometimes it really don't. And when I see other fighters who get punched in the back of the head purposely or when I see fighters who punch in the back of the head purposely, it it, it it irks me. But at the same time, sometimes like being in there with you in there with some fighters that's like that that does things that does other ways of being dirty, like the tricks and stuff. Are they like 
steady turn into where you can't hit nothing or like mm -hmm. steady grab you you gonna do something like that you know what i'm saying you gonna you gonna yeah like bitch stop playing with me like you know what i'm saying yeah, like, hey, yeah. But, you're right but they have fighters who target that especially if they lose it and they feel like that's the way that they could either slow you down i don't i don't like that i don't agree with that and i don't like that i mean it's not a good thing at any point to get hit in the back of the head from somebody full force who know what they're doing because you see the um results yeah. that could come from that that ain't cool that ain't yeah. cool but there's been times when i was in there with fighters who fight dirty like real life dirty you gotta get dirty back with them you yeah. gotta get it back sometime, but you don't never do nothing intentionally to well you shouldn't do nothing intentionally to like oh yeah bitch I'm knowing that I could possibly paralyze you or break cause no 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 yeah now I if, I, if I if I won't cause brain damage let it be from a clean punch I don't want hit the stem or the neck and all that no I don't I don't, I don't live like that I'd rather be like. Even though it wouldn't be nothing to really brag on, but on the cool it'd be like, nigga, I, I rocked him like with a clean shot. I ain't punched you no know, nothing yeah. like that. Nothing like that. Yeah. I got I punched in the dick. I got punched in the dick and the referee didn't do nothing about it and that shit hurt. They talk about that ball protecting cup don't matter when somebody full blow and you off guard mm -hmm. like you not bow boy, that shit hurt. That's yeah. man, that shit hurt, boy. So yeah, I'm I'm not funny. I don't like that foul play shit. I'm glad you said that too, cause I was asking right here my next question. So, what adversities did you go through? As far as you know, it could be you, it could be anybody, you know. But just adversities, boxers go through. Like just like you said, you took the fight when you just came off of COVID and everything like that. Have you? I mean, I know you've been through adversity. Oh yeah, I've been through a lot. Oh. Uh shit you know um okay i fought that was the same fight came coming off COVID against steven ortiz i uh, i guess he was slowing down and i wasn't i didn't i don't train like that and uh after the bell had rung he cocked back and low blow me hard and i was complaining and like of course i fell to the ground and all that they replayed it and the referee told the referee told me you ain't ain't nothing wrong with you if you don't get up we stop in the fight just like that uh -oh. I went back. Yeah, hey, after that fight, I ain't gonna lie to that fight, man. My, my, like, I was damn near in tears. I'm talking to my coach, like, man, you heard this man told me, like, yeah. like, man, it foul like, like the game foul like that. And it's the same referee who came before, before you walk out, they come in, a, they come in your locker room and talk to you about the guidelines because we was the main event. So you, they come and speak, and we ask these questions, and you still didn't give a fuck about it, as if I'm bitching out or like making excuses. And you clearly see this man did me this. Then yeah. that's fighters, that's fighters who who play the grab game, which is yeah. aggravating because boxing. And we talk about that. The referee gives the warnings, supposed to give warnings for excessive holding after so many warnings tonight. What's up? Oh, that's my. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see me doing this. You can't stop being. But uh, yeah, excessive holding. They don't tell yeah. him nothing, and uh, they 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 throw like little slick punches coming out the break. You know, listen, that's fine. But things like that, fighters do a lot of things that uh, it's a lot that could come into. It. Plus, outside the ring, you have. Um, things like I said, you know, I, I ran into COVID. Uh, sometimes camp don't really be as smooth, or dieting don't be as good. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta, you really have to kind of deal with that at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different ways you face adversity being a professional boxer. So yeah. you know. Every fighter at some point going. Every fighter at some point going face going going run into something to where they feel like, man, it's not. You know, you just gotta find somewhere to pull it out. You gotta find somewhere to pull it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel you on that. So, as far as conditioning, you know, if you had any advice on 
the new boxers or just, you know, anybody in general as far as getting in shape? I know you, you know, got certain routines you do to get in shape for fighting because you got different types of workouts, so fat, fat loss and weight lifting, but boxing, you know what I'm saying? Boxing is a different game because, you know, you got to have that I'm cardio. Yeah, you definitely going to have to run. You definitely going to have to run. But, you know, each fight, fighters, they have different routes. Fighters have different bodies, body types, you know what I'm saying, metabolism. So it's not like there's not like a blueprint to it. You dig what I'm saying? But one thing every fighter do is run. You got to run. You yeah. got to run. As far as conditioning wise, you know what I'm saying? You gotta run. You gotta run and you gotta be in the gym. You can't just, you really can't part time boxing. You can't part time your workouts. You can't part time in no area, especially if you're trying to be in top condition. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and then there's a possibility that you can overtrain. Like, yep. you can overly exert your body. So when it's time, because you really only get one day to rehab before you fight. You got to weigh in. As a pro, you weigh in Friday, you fight Saturday. You got about 24, between 24 and maybe 30 hours before you yeah. go in. And you done put your body through weeks to months of intense workouts so your body really need more than the day so you got you got like it's a lot that you got to process on top of dieting feeling you know it's a lot that goes with it but definitely once you start it don't don't skip don't don't slack on it I promise you, you gonna feel it oh yeah for sure i'm already knowing no. so i'm you pretty comfortable with your weight class do you feel like you need to go down or go up you know, how do you, how you feel about that? I like 35. I like 135. My coach and my manager, who, you know, I trust, and we, we spoke on it, they felt as though I should go to 130. I personally not excited about dropping to 130, not because of the competition. I just don't like that diet, that hard. I'm I ain't weighed 130 pounds. Right. I ain't weighed 130 pounds probably since like middle school or something so <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not excited about that but i'll yeah. try it i'll try to see how i go but because 35 could be a a, a stretch it, it's it's you know it depends on how i go it depends it depends but you know I, I i don't i'm not i'm not i'm good between i'm good at that range i'm good i like what i'm at i like that you know, maybe when I get a little older, you dig what I'm saying? I'll, I'll complete my goals at 30 or 35, I'll go to 140. When I walk around heavy, because it ain't like I'm walking around fucking a buck eight or nothing like that. I'm, yeah. Man, I, I ain't that. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? But when I do start, my metabolism do start slowing down, and I do start walking around heavier, then it get harder, yeah. like real hard, then I go up. But I'm good at 35. I like 135. Me personally, I like 135. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of stuff going on 35. I mean, is it is it any particular names you're looking for? Or it just, you know, whatever you guys give me in the top ranks pretty much? Right now, yeah. Right now, whoever I got to fight, me, I felt like, shit, give me a fight with Gamboa like these other boys getting. I could beat yeah. Gamboa. Give me a fight yeah. since he's a gatekeeper them. <laughs> Fight with Gamble. Let me, you hear me, and I'm telling, let, let me do that the same way they, they doing yeah. it. Fuck. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? See, why not? Because me personally, I don't, like me, man, look, right? Uh, he ain't. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm already done, but I'm already done. Like, you know, and there's no disrespect to no fighters, but. Uh, and I'm seeing, I see a lot of fights. Like, if you go on box work, there's names I never even much seen or heard of or nothing like that. So I just be like, you know, come on, man. Like, that's, you know, how they get up here, how they ranking. But that's the thing about the game. See, I don't have no promoter. I don't have yeah. no promoter. I'm doing this strictly off. I got to beat who I got to beat. 
I give exactly. me a promote things that I, I feel like they would have been different, but yeah, it is what it is. I, I like I fight who I need to fight. It ain't like I'm bitching out on nobody, and I'm just I just learned to make smarter decisions. So now we gonna move like that. Yeah, because okay. hey, I'm the one in the ring, and it's the business. Like I'm the business. I'm the walking business. I'm the walking brand. So yeah, but yeah. They got, there's a lot. A lot of dudes I fought with, I fought against in the amateurs, still in 35, ain't got good ranking. So, yeah, I'm looking to meet them, meet up with them again. Yeah, yeah. So, do you, uh, do you consider later on in the future joining the promotion? Like, you know, you got promotions, top rank, different things like that, or are you pretty much cool where you at now? No, I would like, uh, fucking right, I would love, a, like, do, do I want a promoter to, like, for me, or do I want to, like, start my own promotion company is what you're asking? Oh, uh, do you want to join one? Oh, yeah, you know I would love to join one. It would help yeah. a lot. It would, it would fucking right. At one point, I had one. When I first came, I think I was, like, seven, seven and no or something like that. Um, yeah. I was being looked at by, um, what is this, uh, I was being looked at by a couple of people. I can't think of this man's name right now. But I ended up signing with, I ended up signing with, um, now, now I'm freezing up on this man's name. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. But he ended up, he had Big Baby Miller. That was his biggest fight at the time. And this when Big Baby Miller was on the tell. Uh, yeah. I, think I, I signed with him. I signed with him and me, the paper and everything. Then this man up going to jail for fraud. Oh, so he's man. like, get me out the contract or we could sue you for and he just let me out the contract. And I just ain't get picked up by them. But I had other offers. He just offered the best. So I went with him, expecting, you know. And you know, then just fall didn't fall through like that. So now, yes, I would like a promoter. I'm trying to earn one. Get one so I can so things could be smoother, more intact. That way, I have a a a, a steadier schedule. Then, you know, I got I gotta stay at whatever because whenever we get the call, if we say yeah, we gotta be ready. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being on call, I can already have shit planned out. That's what promoters bring to the table. You got you got things already scheduled ahead of time. You know ahead of time. You dig what I'm saying? When you don't got no promoter, you really on call. Like, all right, so, I mean, you got to try and, you got to be, yeah, and that's, that's the aggravating part. That's the aggravating part. Yeah, I feel you, because, I mean, you know, you ain't got a promotional team who can, you know, put it out there and lay everything out still by still. You kind of got to do it all by yourself and stay in shape, stay ready. And even if you something like that, you just got to be ready in the moment. So, hey, and I, that's, that's hey. excellent. That's that's tiring. That's tiring. Yeah, I feel that. So we are getting close to the end of the show, pretty much, and I like to do this at the end. You know what I'm saying? I got five fights. I always like to pick five fights, and I want you to tell me who you who you picking. So first fight, Dimitri Bivol and Zerto Ramirez. Who you taking on that one? I like Bivol. Bivol. Okay. I like his punch. -off. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Deontay Wilder. Well, I know Deontay Wilder and Andrew Ruiz ain't confirmed nothing, but we know that's gonna happen next. If they were yeah. to fight, who you got to know? I gotta go wild just off his punch. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Andrew Ruiz got good boxing, and you know, but it all Wilder just got, and he got the height majorly. So yeah, yeah we'll see. I, I'm going wild off the punch though. Okay, cause he, cause he do got that one punch that just can stop anything at the moment. Ruiz was able to get up from Joshua. I don't know if he gonna get up from Wilder. Still. Yeah. Yeah. That's like getting hit with a train. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know what's up with dude, but yeah. So Tank or Ryan Garcia? <laughs> What I just said. <laughs> what I, I just already said. know. You know that answer. I, 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 yeah, I figured that. So, 
Benavidez or Caleb Plant. They say they lay that. You know what? Benavidez. Tough... Benavidez. Yes. Benavidez. Oh, you take Benavidez. Because yeah. you know Caleb can't you know, box and do different things like that, but yeah. he can't get caught. He can't get caught. That's the thing. But, and it's not like Benavidez is just like a walking tank type of fighter where the dude just about to dance around him the whole time. He may have, he may not have the footwork plant hell, but when he let his hands go, he letting them bitches go. It ain't like he, he he ain't punching and bunching neither when he letting them go. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Plant me move a lot while he boxing. But after a while, like when he fought Canelo, I'm like, he's not gonna be able to hold that up all 12 against Canelo. Like Canelo just stalking, you know, he giving the jab up and all this and all that. And why that shit gonna slow down? He start throwing them body shots hard. And I love Plant because Plant, I like the fact that he, I like his whole drive, his whole motor, and his skill. Benavidez, that's a big old ball. That's a big ball, bro. That's a big oh, yeah. ball, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think definitely. that one though. All right, and I feel like the main, the main fight everybody been waiting on. You probably know Eric Spence and Terrence Crawford. Who you taking on that? Nobody. I answering that. One. You're just a fan I, at the end of. The day. Yeah, I just want to see. I one, I just want them to make the fight. I just want, even yep. though they go, so Terrence went on and said what he said, and you know that it don't look like it's ever gonna happen. They probably both be old by the time they ever decide. Like you know what, let's just do this. But yeah. right now, it ain't, but nah, because a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people on the Terrence side, a lot of people on the Terrence Crawford side, because they feel as though he got a lot of you know. And his he got a lot in his box, and it felt like Spence only pretty much one thing. But if this man work this one thing and perfected this one thing, it don't matter. It exactly. don't matter. Bruce Lee said, "You, I'd rather be the master of one kick than know a thousand kicks and master none." Right. That says a lot right there in itself. And both of them got that dog in them, so it ain't like. Neither one of them, you yeah. know, been bitched before. Spence said Crawford got knocked down in Woozy before. Crawford said the same thing about Spence or whatever. Even though I did see Spence, like when Ugas hit Spence, you could tell that like, he was feeling it, but Spence still went forward the whole fight like that. They different. It's, it's that's that's a fight. I, I nigga, I just that's one fight. I'm I, I pay to catch a flight and go see like in person. That yeah. one, I can't pick on that one. I like, I'm fans of both of them. I'm really fans of both of them. Real yeah. tough. Yeah.